Outdoors is brought to you in part by Badger Sportsman, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Wilderness North Lodge, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Lynch of McGuanago, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Wings Over Wisconsin, Kamik Law Firm, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Otter, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Larry Smith Outdoors. We're over with the Wings Over Wisconsin Denmark chapter and we have a kids outing going on here. Hey Barry, can you tell us a little bit about what we have going on here? I mean, this really looks like a good deal and you guys got a great organization. Thank you, Larry. Um, yeah, we got 116 kids this year, the entire sixth grade from Denmark uh, Middle School are out and uh, we bring them out for a little education with the DNR. Uh, we feed them lunch and then we show them how to throw a line. Oh, that is awesome. You know, and you've guys got these ponds where they come out and fish. And earlier, you know, we were going through the fish cleaning. We were going through the boat, boating safety, some fly fishing techniques. And, you know, you had guys had some other stuff going on too. Sure. Um, so what else were you well, guys? Well, we have the DNR out here as yep. well, and they teach about invasive species, right. fishing regulations, so mm -hmm. they know how to pay it forward, and, and of course, boat safety for when they get out in the boat with uh, parents. That's awesome. You know, it's all about education, Barry, but the other thing is to try to get a lot of these kids, I was asking them if they ever fished before, and I would say at least half of them say, no, we have never fished before. So it's all about tr more involvement, trying to get these kids outside into a healthy environment and hook them on the sport of fishing. Literally hook them, absolutely. Right. In fact, every kid today goes home with a uh, fishing combo and tackle box and bobbers, every single kid, so they can pay it forward and take their friends fishing. Well, that is absolutely awesome. Hey, we appreciate you having us out here. Yep, and thanks for lunch. The fish was awesome, the burgers are awesome, and I did find an extra donut laying around there. I can't <laughs> believe with all these kids here that there was actually a donut left. Hey, for Larry Smith Outdoors, enjoying the outdoors, Remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, how's the fishing going? Uh, not too bad. I got a couple of bluegills and a couple of perch, just having fun. Nice. Well, I'm just the local conservation warden out checking okay. fish and fishing licenses. Um, I guess first we'll check your license. Uh, um, do you have nope. one on you? I, ha I don't really. That white piece of paper they gave me kind of went through the wash. Okay. Um, but you bought one this year? I did buy nice. one, yep. So is there anything else I can I, I can do? Yeah, uh, there's the new Go Wild system this year. Okay. Uh, there's actually four different ways that you can you can there show is. it. So okay. um, you, you don't have the hard copy with you? No, I don't. I actually okay. left it in my truck. So. Okay, okay. Um, do you have the Go Wild card? Did I you don't. What that? is the Go Wild card? Okay, the Go Wild card, it's, uh, it's 350 and okay. basically it's kind of like a library card. Uh, basically, okay. it's it's nice and uh, flexible. It's hard, so it can get wet. It has your DNR customer ID number, uh, barcode on it. Okay. Um, and then I can use my phone. I got an app. I okay. can scan that, and it'll show me that you bought your annual fishing license. No, with that Go Wild card, do I have to buy a new card every year? No. Um, you can. As long as the card works, I can scan it, it's in good shape, you can keep using that card. Okay. But they'll have a new uh, design, a new card each year that you could purchase if you would like. Okay, but otherwise, if, if my card still looks good, I don't have to yep. buy one. Yep. And so all I have today on me is my driver's, driver's license. Driver's license, will that perfect, work? that will work. Okay. So that's the other way I can check it. Okay. Um, 
Uh, what we have is a you know an app just like any other one on your phone. Okay. So you're punching in my numbers on my driver's license. Um, I I can actually scan it. I just have to. Oh really? Just, okay. Yep. I just have to log in quick. Yeah. So basically, I just hit scan ID, and it's like those barcode scanners you can yeah. use for food and stuff. Um, so you're just scanning my my barcode on my driver's license. Yep. Just scanning it. It's just got a. So when I buy a license, does that automatically go onto my driver's license? Is there anything special I need to do so I don't have to carry that? that there you go. piece of paper? Yeah, um, when you buy it, it automatically goes to your go-out account. And okay. um, all that information, your your fishing licenses, but also your hunting, your ATV, boats, and all be able, that all goes on Go Wild. You don't have to do anything except for make sure your uh, driver's license is updated okay. and current in the system. Yep. Um, so I can just scan it, it pops up. It's popped up. Uh, looks that, like you got your conservation yep, license. Yep, I have a patron's, patron's license. Patron's license. Yep, that's awesome. So you got your fishing license. That's perfect. So I'm good. No, so you're good there. there. So, yep. So, yeah. So the Go Wild card, yep. uh, the hard copy, um, the driver's license, or um, you can actually download it on your phone. So do you have a, a smartphone? I do. Or you yeah. can even take a picture, but you can download it on your phone and then just show me like fishing license. So okay. if you don't have like internet access or whatever, you can just download it, show me like the PDF or whatnot. Okay. And that'll be perfect. Wow, that's awesome. Yep. You know, I always have my driver's license on me and yeah. the nice part about that, it's not gonna, you know, if it gets wet and stuff like that, it's not gonna fade away. So yep. for me, or I might take a look at the Go Wild Card and you're saying the Go Wild Card is how much? 350? Like 350. Well, yep. that's a pretty good yeah, deal. So and that'll uh, last as long as it's legible. Yep. Okay. yep. As long oh, as I awesome. can still scan it, um, it's perfect. Uh, you know, we're on an inland lake here, so you're fine. But the one important thing to remember uh, with the fishing license is that uh, when you're actually on a boundary water or an outlying water, okay. you have to have the hard copy, like the, the paper version with you. Okay. Because other um, agencies and other states don't have the same technology as I do, so they can't uh, check it the same way I can check it. So oh. make sure on those boundary and outlying waters, you have the hard copy. You know, I appreciate it. Yep, Big course. time, thank yeah, you no, very much. Luck. Hopefully you catch a few more. Yeah, thanks yeah. for no tickets today. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> thanks. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see a picture of you having fun in the outdoors. And to have a chance to win a trip with us here on Larry Smith Outdoors and a hardened soft water fishing kit, all you have to do is submit that picture to the badgersportsman.com. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Hey, this morning what we're doing is we're fishing off of Port Washington. We're gonna be doing some salmon fishing and I've been trying to get up here to do this for about the last five or six years and that's really kind of the cool part about now having our own show is that we have these opportunities to come out here and do these very cool things instead of fishing walleyes all the time, which is usually my typical routine in the morning. And I had to get up a little bit earlier than normal, but I think it's all going to be worthwhile. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens this morning off of Port Washington Fish and Salmon. This is pretty much what we're fishing with here. 
It's like a Dodger and a Fly, yeah, right? Orange Dodger for Cohos, and right. then a blue green gold Fly. A friend of mine uh, from Jackson, his wife makes these. His wife? Yep. Must be nice. I can't even get my wife to kill a fly in the house yet to make a fly. Come on, what do you mean? Come on, Peyton. Try, try this one again? Come on, he's got to get one in. Where's... Oh, and Isaac's going to net it? Oh my gosh, Peyton, you're in trouble. Let me get oh, it closer. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. you got to come over to that line. There you go. Ooh, that's a good fish. got to like that. Ooh, that's nice. No, that is not a happy fish. Is that a coho? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Can you help me? Nice job. All right. Now, show us the difference, Brian, on these on, on these fish. I don't know the difference between a coho, a chinook. Cohos have uh, white gums. Okay. The white mouth. Yep. And then they just, they don't have any spots. They have a few spots in their upper tail. Okay. And that's it. I mean, they're... In the cohort, you say table fare, that's the best. This huh? is the best eating you will get. All right, one down. Good job. Oh, there's Another a fish. One. Another fish. Okay, Isaac, go for it. And it's Jim's side again. Jim's side again. Jim, start setting all these on this side. Oh, hang on, hang on. Got him? Yep. <laughs> hey, you got to control your fish a little bit better. I could even got that one in, huh? Yep. All right. Nice one. Hey, you're supposed to give him that when the rod went off and it was his turn. Isaac, what do you got going on there? A Chinook? King of all kings. It's sir peeling a lot of line out. I'm glad I don't have that rod in my hand. <laughs> uh, hey, Isaac, it's a good thing you're not fishing with John Gillespie right now because he'd be screaming at you. <laughs> it's only a half hour show! It's only a half hour show! Oh, there's a fish. Get him, get him. Oh, yeah. And that's going slow. <laughs> we were they were we sleeping were in. in. Right, you know, and I said that to Dan Dan, the caveman cameraman. I said, yeah, he, by 9 o'clock they were in already. They had their limits. And he's like, don't say that. You're cursing us. No cursing. <laughs> I forgot. I'm usually not a big trolling fan, but this is a lot of fun. Come on. <laughs> Another. These are all nice fish, too. We might need the big nest for that one. Where's yours? Oh, there's Isaac's way out there. He's been fighting that fish for what, about 10 minutes? Hey, there's another fish. Another fish right there. Another fish right there. Right there, right there, right here, right there, right here. No, next one. Next one. Am I getting it? Oh, here you go. That's a nice fish. He was on there. I seen him hit him slam it. Ready? Yep. Oh, Rainbow. Nice. Oh my oh, gosh! Oh, 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 oh. You guys thought I was gonna lose them. No way. Nice, nice fish. No, this was a rainbow. That's oh. just oh, another fish right here. Oh my! I can't believe this. Woo! This is fun. I mean, I can't believe this is fish after fish uh, after fish. Just had one hook. In that is a chinook. That's a king. Yep, oh, I was gonna say. That's a nice fish. We're going to clear all the rods here in a little bit. I'm going to have to have a sun drop and a Rice Krispie treat. Otherwise, Dan's wife will be mad. Hey, lift the rod up. Lift her up. Nice job. Woo! Hey! Hey, make sure you guys check in on Facebook with us because every week we're doing a live half hour feed and we're doing a trivia giveaway and we've got some really cool prizes to give away for anybody that answers, the first person that answers the trivia. So remember, half hour live feed every week on Facebook. 
You need longer arms. Ah, I got them finally. Yeah. Good job, Brian. Not too bad, Jen. You should have bought her that new house a long time ago, Dan. Mm. She bought me the house. Well, well, either way, at least now she's putting sugar back into our treats. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows, you can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job, too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch McGuanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all new state of the art Lynch McGuanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Come on, Peyton. Nice job, Peyton! That's a nice one. <laughs> hey! Woo! <laughs> mm. 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 No, it's horrible, you guys don't need it. Oh, there's this. This rod again? <laughs> this thing's on fire. Call the Dipsy. You did call her. it. Yeah. Did the dipsy go off? There's a fish right there. Right there, John Ritter. We have triple chow. <laughs> <laughs> this is some fish. Where do you find sun drop in bottles? I got a connection. This this time, Peyton, come on. Oh. oh, what did I do? What happened? And we lost the whole works on that one. Line. How did that happen? Hey, you know, Larry, I have uh, lost one in, uh, what, five years at the MC. What did I do wrong? Here, uh, yeah, you you all, that, all that energy what? from those. Uh, oh, that, that sun drop. Sun well, drop. you know what, that's what, that, that could, I will take responsibility because Sometimes that happens when you drink too much sun drop. Now don't lose this one. I put I'm surprised I even get a chance at another one. We had 40 pound test just for Larry. Today in the kitchen, I'm Shotgun Steve Schaefer. I am working with salmon again. Again, my friend dropped off some salmon from Lake Michigan sitting in his freezer. What to do? Look at how nice and colorful this is. I am gonna make brown sugar, soy sauce, garlic mixture. Our neighbor behind the house, their parents are from Alaska and this is the recipe they gave me and it is really good. So you take equal parts, brown sugar, I have some in there already, soy sauce, dump it in there. And once again, granulated garlic, I love it. Stir it up, and it's just a marinade. See how it turns to like molasses? 
My neighbor brought this over from Alaska one time and said, you gotta try this. Normally I throw it on the grill, but the weather's kinda terrible out today, so I'm just gonna throw it in the oven. It works the same way. And what happens is as it cooks, the brown sugar gets in all the nooks and crannies here of the salmon, and it makes like a nice bark on it. So for my side on this one, I'm gonna throw it in at the same time, it's gonna take about the same. I took white milk, these are fresh beans, Italian seasoning, I rolled the beans in the milk, sprinkled the Italian seasoning on it. I'm just gonna set them onto the side. And it takes about the same time. These are fresh beans I got down the road from the, the deli down the road. All right, let's throw this in the oven. And within 10, eight, 10 minutes, we are ready to eat salmon, brown sugar salmon. Once again, 350, top shelf. See how it's real thick already? It's gonna turn to like a caramel on the outside of that salmon, about anywhere from eight to 10 minutes. You'll see it turning real white. The color of the salmon's gonna change colors. That's when you wanna break it up and bring it out. All right, let's look at it. It's been in there for nine minutes. Oh, see how it's bubbling in there, caramelizing? Oh yeah. Now look folks, see how the meat is turning white right here and all the joints? That's what you want, you know your salmon's done. All right, let's pull this out and plate it, see how it tastes. If you guys can always smell this, too bad it's on TV. I usually scrape a little of this juice up, throw it over the top. All right, let's try this. See how flaky that is? Mm. Man, that's good stuff. Can't beat salmon cooked this way, folks, seriously. Your kids will love it. It's got a sweet and it's got a little kick for the garlic in there. Once again, my recipes are on the website. If, adjust them to your flavor. Once you try it, make it, everybody's taste is different. But make sure, folks, you take the bones off. Man, this is good stuff. I am Shotgun Schaefer, signing out from Salmon. latest issue of the Badger Sportsman will be in our readers' hands within the week. Not a subscriber? Now is the time. You won't want to miss this issue. It's packed full of everything you need to know for open water success, no matter what species you're targeting. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today. Boy, sure, it's nice having that autopilot, huh? Either that or you got a ghost up front here driving that boat. It's the ghost ship. Come on, Jim. Nice job. Isaac's the net man. <laughs> go! -ho. Oh, -ho, go! -ho. Nice job. Look at that. Look at that. And go, oh, <laughs> little snack. Oh, there you go, Peyton, yep. you want a snack? There he is. Hey, Peyton, how many more fish you got to go before you got your limit? One more, One more that's it? You are on fire today. All right, Jim, woohoo! You just dropped that bait down there too, huh? Nice job. Nice fish. All right. Ooh, real nice fish. That's a chunky one. Yeah, it is. Little chunk, little chunkster. 
He did, he came off. Hold him up. That's a nice fish. Gotta love that. <laughs> A little slippery, aren't they? There you go. <laughs> that, that is awesome, boy. Got him getting a little full in that uh, live well, huh? Well he's gonna break the line. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, no, sir, damn it. <laughs> I'll trade you. I get my sun drop back. Gonna break the line. Put some beans to him. Other dipsy. Holy man, we're on him now. I'm back on him again. Need some help with that one, Pete? Who's that? Want to bring him right? Oh, yeah. Right here. You gotta double net this one. Double. You got two. You got double net. It. Look at that coming. Both of them coming in. That's a great shot. Look at this. Keep reeling, Peyton. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, look at that one. You're dead. Got this one quick. One more. There's one. Okay, come on, Peyton. Nice job. Gotta love it. <laughs> Got it, Jim. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you know how you can tell today was a very successful day? There's a smile on my face, and look at this. Check this out. Look at that. That is pure success. A cooler full of salmon in the Badger Sportsman magazine. Definitely success. Hey, I'll tell you guys, you did a fantastic job. Thank you, Jim, Brian. Thank you, Larry. Fishing off a of port today, absolutely incredible. I mean, you don't get days like this every day, do you, Brian? I mean, this is some of the best coho fishing that you've seen in how long? Years. Yep. Years, many years. So, so a very special day today. I'll tell you, we had an absolutely great time. Everybody had fun. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, what's our philosophy? We eat fishy. Can you say it? Say it, please. We eat fishy? Yep, say it again. We eat fishy.